Rock, and today I'm going to show you how to make a brushable mold using our Aeromarine 128 silicone rubber with our Aeromarine brushable catalyst. It's a 10 to 1 product, 10 parts of silicone to one part of the catalyst. I'm going to go ahead and dump them into the same container and mix until it's a consistent color. In this case, it'll be a light pink. While you're mixing, you want to make sure that your stir stick stays on the bottom of the container and that you're scraping the sides of the container to get all of the catalyst and rubber mixed consistently. After you have your silicone mixed to a consistent pink color, you can take a paintbrush that you can get at a hobby store. It's one inch throwaway brush because you're going to use a lot of them. You're going to do what's called a print coat, which is about one to two millimeters on the surface of the rock, making sure that you get details. You want to make sure that your paintbrush goes into the little crevices and the cracks, and it's going to be really thin. You can almost see through it. And the nice thing about brushing the silicone on is that you don't have to worry about air bubbles because the brush helps to pop them. You'll continue doing this around the surface of the rock until the surface of the rock is covered with a very thin layer of silicone. Once you get your initial thin print coat all over the rock, you're going to let it sit for four to six hours until it's no longer tacky, which means none of the product is coming off on your fingers. And then you're going to mix up some more silicone and brush on a thicker coat to help make the mold durable. This coat is going to be about a fourth of an inch thick so that it makes it easier to grab. You're just going to take your paintbrush like you did before and evenly spread it out over the surface. This is what the second coat's going to look like. It's a consistent pink color all the way through. You can't see any parts of the rock. And when you demold it in 16 to 24 hours, it's going to be about a fourth of an inch thick. This is our finished mold. When we take it off the rock, it's about a quarter of an inch thick and can be used in conjunction with the mother mold, which is a completely different video from this. You can see the inside of it and that it's pretty floppy. You can fold it. You can use this silicone to make any number of things. What we used it for was to make foam rocks. People really like this Aeromarine brushable silicone because it's good for a variety of applications. As you can see, I'm applying it to a vertical surface and it doesn't sag or drip. Aside from having a high heat resistance and chemically bonding to almost nothing, brushable silicone reduces your silicone usage and your work time. It also has very good chemical resistance. Our Aeromarine brushable silicone is great for complicated items because it picks up fine detail and is flexible. It's also great when you want to make fake rocks to throw at your friends to put on the sides of buildings if they had something cool like a gargoyle. Our brushable 128 silicone is available at airmarineproducts.com.